let me just close this out now. Once again, the headlines read, Gordon Mayer accomplishes little during council meeting. But to me, considering the past meetings and conducts from local citizens and other members at the meeting, the headlines should have read, Mayor's, Mayor, Mary Ann Whippaloo controlled the council meeting, took care of the people's business in a professional manner with little interruptions, something along those lines. But isn't it sad that the same things that those in the civil rights struggle had to fight for decades ago, if not centuries, we are still having to fight them today. Now all the criticism and condemnation of the mayor tabling items because she said that she didn't have enough time to review, to make a thorough decision or to bring it up before the voters and the citizens of Gordon, should we not respect her decision as we would others? Now, just looking into what's going on here, it's nothing new. Once again, all you would have to do is go to other cities here in the state of Georgia that the governor are already aware of. So people would look and think that Gardens, Georgia is different from Valdosta, Georgia, or Quitman, Georgia, or Dawson, Georgia, where the mayor was shot six times, or Davisboro, Georgia, or uh, indeed uh, Mayor George Ivey up in North Georgia. These are problems that are not just restrained to Gordon. But the people of Gordon, if they don't look out beyond Gordon, they'll think that just Gordon is having these problems. But this is throughout the state of Georgia and people already know about it. Representative Tyrone Brooks are aware of it. Edward Dubose are aware of it. Senator Steele is aware of it. Janice Mathis, attorney in Georgia, in Atlanta are aware of it. David Lucas, just a few miles in Macon, and Elaine are aware of it. Albany Mayor are aware of it. So this is nothing new. So the only difference about what's happening now is that the dots are being connected so the people can see what the real deal is. To talk about the people who cannot even get a signature on a bank card, that should not even be a problem in 2014 in any city in the state of Georgia. And to have a city attorney that apparently are not working with a sitting mayor, or if a mayor pro temp is not working with a city mayor, then that's a problem in any city. Why in Valdosta, Georgia, if Mayor Talley didn't work with Mayor Gale, that would be a major disconnect. And so they got to work together to take on the affairs of the community. It's just that simple.
And so we are going to continue to stand up in the spirit of what is right in the United States of America and in the state of Georgia. We do this because it is the right thing to do. Once again, I'm George Boston Rhines, a retired military veteran. I served my nation in time of war because I believe in our form of government. Once again, this is the Ghetto Free Press, and I'm George Boston Rhines. Peace be unto you. Bye-bye. We gone.